Hey guys, we just wanted to tell you about our new merch. What? We have new merch? Are you serious? Yeah, and it's so cuddly and adorable. Oh. Wait a minute. Do we have unicorns? <laughs> Daisy, of course we don't have unicorns. But we do have snugglers. What? They're adorable. Snugglers are your adorable, squeezy, cuddly friend. I want them, Molly. They're so cute. We also have backpacks and t-shirts. You guys can check it out by going to starsquad.shop. Now it's time to get to the video. Ooh, Hospital 911, my favorite. <laughs> I wonder what's gonna happen to Stevie. <sighs> she got hit by a train, and now they're trying to save her life. Ugh, it's epic. I might have to eat a cookie. Mm. Oh, God. Mm. Daisy, get, get out of the way. I'm trying to watch this. I have to vacuum. It's my chores. And then, of course, I'm gonna mop, too. Daisy, ugh. Mop and vacuum somewhere else that's loud. I'm trying to watch my show. You're being so lazy, Molly. Come on, get up. No, I'm not doing anything. I have to eat this donut. Mmm, this is good. Is that you do, Molly, is eat and eat and watch TV? Pretty much. <laughs> it's the best life ever. Who could that be? Brookie! I should have known. <laughs> Come on in, Brookie. Oh, Molly, you hit me with the door. Sorry, I was really excited to see you. Hey, Daisy. Oh, hey, Brookie, I can't hang out right now. Wait, what? Why? Because she has to clean. Oh, well, maybe we could do something fun afterwards. Do you want to go to the park, Daisy? Sorry, I can't. I have to do lots of studying. Daisy, we don't even have a test tomorrow. Wait a minute. Do we have a test tomorrow? No, Molly, for once you're actually right. We don't have any homework. Wait a minute. We are on a very rare occasion where we don't have homework and my sister wants to do some anyway. Yeah, that is pretty crazy, Molly. Maybe she needs some time off. Daisy, why are you studying and doing homework? Because, Molly, I have to. I have to be the best of the best so I can make all my dreams come true. Um, Daisy, uh, you're an amazing friend and stuff, but taking breaks isn't bad for you, you know. I'm not taking a break! Now leave me alone! Whoa, grumpy. Sorry, I didn't mean to be rude, guys. Ah, I just, no one understands me. They don't get why I want to work so hard at everything. Well, uh, if we could get in your brain, maybe we could understand. That's it. Molly, you, you just made me think of something. I did? What is it? I created this secret potion to shrink people down. What, you did? Yeah, in my secret science lab, but I guess it's not secret anymore because I just told you. <laughs> secret science lab. Don't be ridiculous. Well, it's it's not that big yet, but in my mind, it's amazing. Anyway, I made this potion, and if you drink it, I, I can swing you down. And you could go inside my brain and see how I work, how I tick. Oh, my gosh. Daisy, that's insane. Okay, I'm going to go sit on the couch and relax. You guys take the potion and, you know, get inside my brain. This is creepy. This is crazy. Glug, glug, glug. Ooh, you made it taste like orange soda. It's delicious. Molly, not too much. Oh, mm. Molly, if you drink too much, you'll never be a normal size again. Okay, yeah, that would be very bad. <laughs> I don't feel anything. You will, Molly. You will. Whoa, I shrink so much already. I'm shrinking too. Whoa. Okay, Brookie, are you ready? Here goes nothing, Molly. <laughs> this is going to be one crazy trip through Daisy's brain. All right, guys. Time to see how my mind works. Ah! Oh, my gosh, Molly. Hold on. What is this place? I don't know. It looks like some sort of secret room. I don't know. Look, this is, there's, a, there's a laser door over here. Uh, maybe if we push this button, we can get inside. It worked. Well, I guess it's not that secret. Holy guacamole! This is the secret lab she was talking about. Wait, Brookie, did you not get through? I'm coming, Molly. The door doesn't seem to be working quite right. Okay, here, let me see if I can get it from my end. Come on, Brookie! Whoa, look at there's a lab worker over there. Well, of course she's gonna have minions. <laughs> Whoa, look at this! She's got a rocket. Uh, like a rocket thing that she can ride? And 
a laser, and oh my gosh, my sister's invented a lot of things. Wow. I think she could take over the world with this. Maybe that's precisely your plan, Molly. I don't know. Daisy doesn't really... Wait a minute. Yes, yeah, she does. She would totally take over the world. Oh, this door looks like it's locked. I'll have to find a secret entrance into her secret lab inside her brain. <laughs> Ooh, a maze. Now remember, Molly, we can't touch anything. We might mess up Daisy's brain forever. Oh, man, that would be a pity. <laughs> Molly, you take it seriously. Okay, fine. Wow, look at this place. Brains. Um, hi. Ah, uh, brains. Did he just say brains? I think he did. Oh my gosh. Is he turning into a... I think he might be turning into a zombie. Ah! No wonder Daisy wants to have this secret lab. She's going to save the entire human race from the zombie apocalypse. Oh my gosh. Well, I guess her work is pretty important. This is why she wants to do her homework all the time. She has to save the human race. Well, let's see if there's any other zombies in here. I don't think I want to go meet any zombies. He wasn't totally zombie yet. What's this? Oh, she does some science experiments in here. OMG, she made a food machine. Whoa. Now my sister should do homework all the time if it means she's going to make me delicious tacos. Molly, I can't believe the world is going to be taken over by zombies. Not if we have Daisy on our side. She looks like she's going to be a brilliant scientist someday. No kidding, Molly. I don't see any other zombies. That might be a good sign. Yeah, it probably is. Whoa, I feel kind of funny. Oh no, are you a zombie too? No, I think we're going to the next place in our brain. Molly? You look so different. You look amazing. You look different too. What's going on? Ballet Academy? It looks like Daisy wants to be a famous dancer. Whoa, Jules! Molly, don't touch any of those. We can't collect those in her brain. Remember, we could mess up Daisy forever. Oh yeah, sorry. <laughs> um, Ballet Academy. Wow, this place looks amazing. Yeah, and it looks like the place she wants to come to study dance. So wait a minute. My sister wants to be a famous scientist that saves the world from zombies. And she wants to be a famous ballerina? Well, I guess she dreams big. Holy guacamole, this place is amazing. Ooh, look at all the treats. Ooh, donuts, yes. Um, ooh, what are those? They look like some sort of sweet treat, like a tart. And sandwiches and lemonade. Okay, I can see why she wants to come here. <laughs> I would too. This place looks delicious. Hmm. I want to eat everything. Molly, what are you doing? You can't eat anything in Daisy's brain. But I'm hungry. Molly, that's actually in your brain. You're not actually hungry in here. Well, yes, I am. I'm very hungry. Ooh, look at this dress. This is beautiful. That's probably the one that Daisy wants to wear on her award-winning night. You know, where she wins the medal for, for being the world's best dancer? Wow, she must practice a lot if she wants us to be her dream. I bet she does. She's an overachiever at everything. Let's go check out the dance hall and see what that's like. Okay. Wow, this school is very prestigious. I guess so. Now I understand why Daisy always wants to do the dance competitions. She always wants to practice and she goes to bed early. And she makes sure she exercises and she only eats healthy food. <sighs> Her life is exhausting. <laughs> Yeah, but she's going to dream big. She's going to do amazing things. Yeah, I think you're right. Whoa! Whoa! I'm being, I'm being tossed around into another part of Daisy's brain! Wait a minute. Daisy has the aquarium on her mind? Yeah, it looks like it. Maybe she really likes aquariums. May I have your attention, please? We're about to do a presentation on ocean conservation. Um, that will begin in 15 minutes. Ocean conservation? What is this place? This is a sad reality. Climate change is killing our beautiful reefs. Oh, wow. Oceans are essential to life on Earth. They cover more than 70% of the planet's surface, regulate the climate, and supply oxygen we need to survive. Key factors contributing to the problem are overfishing, illegal and destructive fishing, as well as climate change. Oh my gosh, 
I think Daisy also really cares about the ocean and its animals. Huh, yeah, it seems that she does. Because she seems to have an aquarium in her brain? <laughs> I knew something smelled a little fishy about her. Oh, very funny, Molly. <laughs> this isn't just a game. It's happening in real life. Oh my gosh, this is terrible. I guess I should be more supportive when my sister tries to learn about these things. Oh, look at the cute little fish. Yeah, they're all going to be dead if we don't help. Wow, Rookie, that was harsh. I know, but Daisy has a point. She's working hard to try to make a difference on this planet. Yeah, but it doesn't hurt to have a break once in a while. Well, I take a break if you two would ever get out of my brain. Well, I guess that's our cue to get on out of here. Yeah, before we get big again and then, uh-oh. Yeah, that would be disastrous. <laughs> well, fish, it was nice meeting you. It was nice meeting you. Wait a minute. The fish and Daisy's brain talk? Um, yeah, that's a little weird. I don't think it's weird at all. I'm a fish. I'm a fish. I'm a fish, 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 fish. Okay, I'm out of here. Jeepers creepers, Brookie. No wonder Daisy wants to work all the time. She has some really big dreams. Yeah, important ones too. I can't even believe how big her dreams are. Yeah, she's going to have to work really hard. Yeah, Molly, why aren't you getting any bigger? Because she drank too much of the potion. Uh-oh, looks like I'm going to be tiny for a while. <laughs> this could be fun. Do you want me to go inside your brain next, Brookie? No, definitely not. I don't want you to see what's in there. Why? Do you have a lot of earwax in your ears? Ew, no. <laughs> no, I want to ride the pink unicorn. You ride the green one. Oh, boy, Marty's dreaming about unicorns again. Marty, shh, I'm trying to watch my favorite show. <laughs> girls, girls, are you out of bed yet? Girls. Oh, what? No, oh, it's too early. Oh, it's uh, so early. Girls, come on, it's 11.30 already. Get out of bed. I'm watching my favorite show, Mom. I'm just going to stay here. Huh? What? Ah, I fell out of bed. Ow, ow, ow. I hurt my ankle. Mom, I have to lay in bed all day. Molly, open your eyes, please. You wouldn't fall out of bed if you actually looked where you were going. <laughs> yeah, Mom. I never thought of that. Look where I was going. <laughs> Girls, you have wanted to be lazy every single Saturday since school started. Uh, yeah? That's because we have to get out of bed early on school days. And we have to do all this homework and then there's detention. So what you mean to say is that you don't get out of bed on time, you don't do your homework, and then you get detention? Uh, that's exactly what she means. Blah! Daisy, you were like possessed for a minute. What? What are you talking about? No, I wasn't. Mom, did you see that? She was floating in midair. What are you talking about, Molly? Huh? I'm probably still tired and just imagining this stuff because I haven't gotten enough rest. Girls, downstairs right now, we're going to have a healthy breakfast. Fine. As if we don't have to do all of these chores and all of this stuff during the work week and the school week. Now we have to do it on our Saturday too? I don't think so. Ah, <sighs> relaxation. Oh man, I forgot to turn on the TV. And where's the remote? Someone lost the remote. So I don't have to actually get up and turn on the TV? Like seriously? It doesn't even seem like a thing. <gasps> OMG! Look at this adorable hammy ham! <laughs> I love it! Oh, wow, Marty, you found the hammy ham channel. I love that. Yeah, he's so cute in all his broccoli. Girls, come on. It's time for a healthy breakfast. Okay, fine. Hey, girls. Good morning. Hey, Dad, what are you doing? Oh, fixing this washing machine. I hate this washing machine. Ah! Dad, don't beat the washing machine with the wrench. That's not going to fix it. But it might break it, so that way I never have to fix it ever again. You, we know we can't afford a new washer right now, Dan. Don't break it. Uh-oh. Mom and Dad are gonna fight. Mom and Dad are gonna fight. Yeah, but they always make up. Everything will be fine. Yeah, no, but <laughs> sometimes they're like, No, you can't have a washing machine. And she's like, Yes, I can. Okay, girls, that's enough of that. Well, 
If you guys are gonna fight about the washing machine, I'm gonna go in here and watch Hammy Ham. <sighs> Wait, who turned off the TV? I did, Molly. You have a lot of chores to do. Come on. What does that include? Burying zombies or something? What's this? No, you have to do all of the gardening today. There's a lot of weeding to do. What? No, I'm not. I'm gonna just chill out on the couch. Molly, I don't think so. Your sister has to do all the other chores and you have to do this one. No, it's Saturday. I don't want to. How about I jump on the couch? Whee! Boing, 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 boing. Oh, man. My kids are out of control. Oh, what am I going to do? I need a parenting class. Okay, Daisy. I'd like you to sweep and mop the floors, please. The entire house? Mom, I had my science fair this last week, and I worked so hard on that. I really don't have the energy. Well, we all have to pitch in. What are you and Dad going to do? Well, I'm going to do the dishes, and your dad's going to keep repairing the washing machine. I don't want to. How about I just go play on the computer? That sounds like a much better idea. Ugh, you girls don't want to do anything. You're so lazy on the weekends. Yeah, that's kind of the point of a weekend. Lazy. Oh, Laura, I don't know what we're going to do about these girls. I know. They're so lazy. They don't want to help around the house at all. Do you think school's too stressful on them? No, I don't think so. I mean, no more than work stressful on us, and we all need to pitch in and make this house work, well, good. I know. I don't know what to do. I can't get them to listen. Wait a minute. I wasn't going to tell you this, but I went into the secret section of the library the other day. What? You, you what? The public library has a big sign that says secret section. Don't go back in here. Well, I did. I just had to see what was in there. I found this spell book. It has all these spells to make your kids behave. Wait, what? Okay, now I'm interested. Exactly. Here's a spell where they have to say yes to everything we ask. Oh, this is great news. <laughs> Cast the spell. What are you waiting for? Are you sure? I mean, this book is definitely forbidden at this public library. Well, Harry Potter's sometimes forbidden at the public library. Cast the spell. Okay. Here goes nothing. Alakazam. Alaka, don't you dare play. You have to do everything we say. What's happening? I, I, I feel weird. I do too, Molly. What's going on? Time to test if this little spell worked. What? What'd you say, Mom? Oh, nothing. <laughs> um, Molly, would you get up and mop the floors for first and then, I mean, sweep the floor? Oh, I'm getting so confused right now. This spell is making me crazy. What? What are you talking about, Mom? Do you have a fever? Molly, go get dressed. Yes, Mom, whatever you say. Well, that was weird. Why did I say yes to my mom? Daisy, vacuum the floor. Okay, Mom, I do anything you say. Yes. Why did I just say yes to that? I didn't want to. That was weird. What am I gonna wear today? <laughs> Ooh, this looks cute. <laughs> Forgot to take my pajama shirt off. Um, I definitely want to wear, like... Yeah, there. Super cozy on this fall morning. Whoa, I ran into the shower. Whoopsie. Did it work? Did the spell work? What are you guys whispering about? It totally did. Molly, I would like you to go, um, hmm, what am I going to have her do, Dan? Uh, why don't you go clean the grill? What? The grill? I, I, I don't. Okay, yes, I'll clean the grill. Why did I say yes? I don't want to say yes. Oh, my God, this is fabulous. I know, right? What do I have to clean the grill with? Well, I guess I could use my toothbrush. Oh, ew, this is going to be so gross. La, 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 cleaning the grill. Mmm, this coffee's good. It's pumpkin spice, you know, because it's fall now. Ooh, pumpkin spice, I love it. We finally get a free second to ourselves without having to do all the work around here. That spell book is amazing. What other spells are in there? Let's not worry about that right now. Let's just enjoy the moment. <laughs> I love this part of Hammy Ham. What's that I hear? A child being lazy? Not on my watch. Ah, this is the life. Just relaxing. Uh, not on my watch, you're not. Go out and cut the grass. What? I don't even know how to cut the grass. Go do it, Molly. Yes, I will. I will cut the grass. 
Wait, why am I saying yes to everything? This is terrible! I have to cut the grass. I have no choice! Holy guacamole. I'm doing all the chores that my parents would normally do. Well, well, you probably shouldn't um, mow when there's not grass. It would be really bad to mow over the driveway. Whoa! How does he mow over this part? Oh my god, this is scary. This is so scary. You can mow along this little tiny edge, and if you fall, you fall to your death! Oh, wow, this is a lot of grass to mow. Here you go, little plant. Well, you're not so little anymore, are you? Daisy, why are we saying yes to all these chores? I know, Marley. I couldn't figure that out either. Something really fishy's going on here. I don't even like doing all these chores on my Saturday. And I keep saying yes. Me too. It's like I'm saying yes against my will. It's really weird. Okay, well, I'm going back to watch TV. Oh, Molly, I see you're back from mowing the lawn. The house needs dusting now. Wait, what? I just did all this work. How about maybe I take a break? No, Molly, dust, and then we'll think about a break. Fine. Ugh. I guess I'll start over here. Hey, what's, what's this? Magic spell book forbidden? <gasps> Where did my mom get this? What? Have your kids say yes to everything? Or have your parents say yes to everything? <gasps> my parents cast a spell on me! Rude! Okay, I see how it goes. I'm gonna reverse the spell and make them say yes to everything. <laughs> Okay, I tried to sound like a witch there, or evil or something, but I don't know. It just sounded kind of ridiculous. Sorry. What What are you doing, Molly? What, what are you at that spell book? Give that back! Absolutely not! I know you put a spell on me and Daisy, and it's payback time. Molly, give me that book right now. Oh no, I don't want to say yes. I better hurry up and say the spell! Alakazam! Alaka Bess! To everything I ask, you have to say yes! What's happening? Oh no! Oh no! Oh my gosh! I feel like I, I have to say yes to everything. Mom, I would like to go to Disney World today. Um, okay. Yes, we can go. First, I'm going to have ice cream for every meal. Sounds good to me. <laughs> That'll teach you for putting a spell on us. <laughs> 